Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks and today I'm going to tell you about CES 2016. This is actually my 10th one. So I've been coming here for 10 years, which is an overwhelming thought because this is an intense show. Uh, it's massive, the venues are far apart, but this year there's Lyft and Uber, which really kind of changed the game uh, for me in terms of getting around. So that made things a lot easier because tax drivers in Vegas are really mean. They'll actually yell at you for not tipping them enough. Like 15% is just too little. Now, what about my top picks of the show? Well, I have to give it to uh, the 18 inch rollable foldable display from LG. This was probably my favorite pick of the show. Now, in terms of mobile, we have to give it to Huawei with the launch of the Mate 8. I'm a huge Huawei fan, and I was actually on the Android Authority podcast two times. Uh, and on the second one, I talked a lot about EMUI, and I'm, I was so surprised how many American uh, bloggers and journalists hate the experience. So I would love for you to check out my, my Android Authority uh, guest appearance on their podcast, because the guys actually made me blush twice. Like, I didn't think I blushed easily, but they made me blush twice. So r right here, I'm going to put a link, uh, so go and check it out. Uh, this is actually one of the highlights of my show. It's, it's seeing the tech is seeing the tech. You know how much we're on the road bringing you all the latest from every trade show that happens all over the planet. But where it, where it gets interesting for us, like we're bringing you all this news, is, is seeing our friends and kind of connecting with those people who get it. Because this isn't an easy job. Like you guys might think like, oh, you know, she makes some video, throws it online. But like the jet lag and like, like Sasha was only here for one day. He flew in the night of the 5th and left the night of the 7th, right? That's really hard, right? And so Sasha actually has a really good video. This is a video from Casio. And in all of the years I've been making videos with him, I don't think I've ever heard him be so negative. So this is the enormous Casio WSDF10. What kind of name is this for a watch? I mean, they've had G-Shock in the past, but Casio WSDF10, you know what? Definitely not gonna fly, I tell you that. It's enormous, definitely aiming at, you know, outdoor persons, even though I'm not sure about those little design. Is this more of a feature, or is this something where I can connect the connector to it? Now, in terms of other devices, if you've checked out our CES 2016 playlist, you'll see that I have focused in on a two-in-ones, tablets, and laptops, because that's, that's generally been, for me, the product has been the, the highest interest, because Lenovo, honestly, with their breadth of products and just their volume, uh, probably had to take it for me again uh, as innovative companies here at the show. And for me, the most innovative product that I saw in terms of uh, mobile computing was the ThinkPad X1. Now, this is a modular tablet that's meant for productivity. So not only can you kind of slot on a keyboard and different styles of them, uh, you can actually slot on projectors. So if you're looking for it for a business, you can actually change it up and get exactly what you want, right? So this kind of level of, of like modular computing is something that we're starting to see more and more and more. Now, I have failed to mention the, the two biggest product categories that happened at the Consumer Electronics Show 2016, and that is automotive and drones. There were so many drones released to this show, it boggles the mind. And there was so much car news that there was some really great demos. So my favorite demo had to be, uh, so there was two, there was two that I checked out. So the Buddy uh, by Volkswagen, I thought, that, I thought that how you could grab the air in front of the display and drag it over and the three displays were all connected, that was slick. Right? And then, of course, uh, the Mercedes E-Class dashboard with its high-level customization I thought was really nice and the fact that they had the T-Wireless charging for your smartphone and plugging your smartphone in via USB in order to get your connectivity and navigation and everything in there. So Sasha actually has a really great walkthrough of that. So those were just a few of my highlights of CES 2016. And this is one of the first videos in a long time that I haven't put on any makeup. And that's because I'm just so tired. I can't wait to get out of here into a more moist climate and perhaps get 15 hours of sleep. If you haven't checked out our CES 2016 playlist, please do so below. 
and make sure you check back next week for a few gems that I'm saving because they're a little more in-depth. So Nicole Scott here for Mobile Geeks. Bye.